From the website in the description, select Device Dashboard. Click Connect, and if this is the first time you have connected your microbit, click Connect USB, select Microbit, click Connect. Once you've done this, the screen will change to show the physical devices that are connected. This includes the microbit, the LED ring, and the potentiometer slider. In this example, as I move the slider up and down, this lights a single LED on the ring based on the position of the slider. Notice as I do this, on the Jackdack screen, the position of the slider and the LED that is lit are also shown. Now we are going to investigate the hot swap properties of Jackdack. When I physically disconnect the slider, the representation of it on the screen disappears. When I plug it back in, the representation will reappear. This time, when I disconnect the slider, we are going to add a simulator. Click the Add button and from the list type slider to select the slider potentiometer. We now have a simulated slider on the screen and as we move the slider on the simulation the LED on the ring will also move as well as the LED on the screen. I have now deleted the simulated slider and am reconnecting the physical slider. As you can see the system now works as before.